inshaAllah from the immensity of the blessings of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in the month of Rabbil Awal is a month that can't be understood. And instead of waiting for Rabbil Awal to begin and people feeling an immense regret that we should have told before Rabbil Awal begins, before the Mawli, the Nabi begins is that the birth of creation, all of these knowledges and all of the Muhammadan haqqaiq is the birth of creation that Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known. That Allah from His Divinely lights, from His Divinely lights created Nurul Mustafa the Muhammadan reality. And Prophet described that, I am created from the light of Allah but creation is created from my light. So we have the Divinely Presence, from that Divinely Presence of La ilaha illallah, Allah created the light called Muhammadun Rasulullah So La illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and then Prophet describing from this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah all of creation is coming. So creation is not in La ilaha illallah because that defines itself, no, don't look here. Creation is in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah and the immensity of that light, the immensity of that blessings that the Muhammadan light when Allah was bringing that light into existence, Allah from Sifat al-Ahad, from Allah's unique oneness in which nothing is like unto it, there's nothing like unto Allah He brought Sifat al-Ahad. And from this light unique ocean of ahadiyya in which nothing is like unto it, Allah brought from that ahad took the alif and the ha. And from his oceans of samadiyya in which samad in its understanding is the ocean of self-sufficiency, that this light of samad it's not in need of anything. It is a self-perpetuating, self-efficient, self-sufficient. Self-sufficient means it's not in need of anything from anyone, from any creation. Allah brought from ahadiyya and samadiyya realities, He brought from the alif ha of ahad and put that light. And from the meem dal of samad He brought the light. And from that light he brought into existence Ahmad Can you read it from there? Alhamdulillah Sayyidi. So from Ahad Allah's unique oneness. He brought the alif ha and from samadiyya because this is now the creation of how Allah was going to create the Muhammadan light. As a result of the alif ha and the mim dal of samad Allah brought those elements together and created alif ha mim dal and this is the reality of Nabi Ahmad. Which is of the highest reality and the reality of that light is the birth of light. That at every time and at every moment when Allah from the reality of where La ilaha illallah touches Muhammadun because it's not broken. This kalima is La ilaha illallah, hey wow, become who?
and this becomes Muhammadun Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This where the hay is connecting to the meme is Qawb Qawsaini o Adana. It's two bow lengths or near. This is a ihtiram and a adab that Prophet taught that to show that it's two bow lengths or near o Adana. How near it is nobody can ever understand but all of creation must know that nothing comes in between that reality. That from the oceans of Allah's immense power as it comes to touch the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah by virtue of the proximity of this Ghawba Qawsaini wa Adna a power comes into existence like a nuqt. As soon as two powers come close to each other, the energy that is conveying and coming into existence that nuqt is the birth of a new existence Allah is bringing into existence. And all of that is from ahadiyya samadiyya because every light that Allah makes that comes from the Muhammadan light and Muhammadan haqqaiq this is the reality of the soul that the soul's uniqueness is its ahadiyya that Allah created from His uniqueness in which there's nothing like unto Allah nothing can be understood from the light of the Muhammadan soul. And that it's samadiyya dress in which it's self-sufficient and nobody needs to feed it, nobody can come against it, nobody can improve it, nobody can deny it. That it's completely self-sufficient and relying upon Allah As a result of that, that is the Ahmad and the reality of Nabi Ahmad That is the birth of light. Because the whole of creation is born from the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I am the first thing that Allah created wa khatim al nabiyeen and I am the seal of all prophecy. Means that has an immense reality. Just the drop from that understanding that Mawlana Shaykh was describing and that's why we said watch the video from these awliyaullah who teach that these three words are key to the universe. That Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Ahmad but they have it as Salli Ala Muhammad. Either way that when they meditate the dhikr of dhikru Rabbaniyoon is not the same dhikr that you are doing. The dhikr in which Allah has given to them to recite these are from those secrets. When they meditate and contemplate, they begin to, to contemplate in a khafi, Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Ahmad, Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Ahmad. And that's why Mawlana Shaykh has it in the Fajr awrad because the Fajr awrad from Naqshbandiya is the awrad of the Sultan al awliya. This is the the recitation and the etiquette that the Sultan of all saints is continuously reciting in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So when students are students of such high caliber awliya, they're inheriting by virtue of receiving those recitations to recite. And you anything you copy from them, you'll be from them. So when they give these awrads for us to recite the etiquette for fajr, it's an etiquette into the Divinely Presence and into the presence and the reality of the Divinely Light of Sayyidina Muhammad at the fajr, at the end of all the fajr by reciting, Ya Had, Ya Samad, Salli Ala Muhammad is Allah is giving them their Muhammadiyoon dress. And there's a paradise in which they will all be Muhammadiyoon that when you look at them as if you're looking at Sayyidina Muhammad Allah is multiplying their souls and this is what Prophet meant, you be with whom you love. He was granting an access into the highest realities that if you have that faith in which you love me more than you love yourself, you'll be with whom you love.
So they can't imagine their existence away from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad This maqam of immense ashiqiyoon, they are all Muhammadiyoon. That if you look at them, you are seeing the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad And Mawlana Shaykh gave that as a gift that people are reciting but they don't know what they're reciting and they're copying that reality. As soon as you recite, Ya Yassama Salli Ala Muhammad, Allah is dressing them from their Muhammadan dress. And anytime they want, they make their tafakkur, and every shaykh has a Muhammadan name. Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, every time they connect their heart, Ya Hajat Sama Salli Ala Muhammad Al Mahdi, Muhammad Nazim Al Haqqani, they are receiving the lights from the Muhammadan dress of the shaykh onto themselves. So, by that key of Ya Hajat Sama Salli Ala Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, they're receiving the dresses of the Muhammadan light because it comes, Salli Ala Muhammad comes to the Muhammadan maqam and from their Muhammadan dress begin to dress them. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi. As soon as that salawat is coming into the Muhammadan haqqaiq, it begin to dress them from the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi salam into their wujud and into their being. These are the immensities of these lights and these zikrs and these awrads and, and wazifas that awliyaullah give that can be understood on this earth but doesn't need to be understood. Those whom are following in the ocean of taqlid and they follow, they hear and they obey, they merely imitate until a day comes in which Allah begin to open what Allah wants to open. So means that when they sit in their tafakkur, connect their heart, visualize themselves with the shaykh and begin to say, Ya Yasam Salli Ala Muhammad, knowing that from Ya Had Ya Rabbi bring me from Sifat Al Ahadiya, Sifat Al Samadiya and perfect for me the light of Ahmad, Nabi Ahmad and then perfect my Muhammadan dress and my khuluq and my character so that when Allah look to the servant, He sees within them their Muhammadan dress and Allah inshaAllah to be pleased with that servant. Subhana rabbi wa rabbil izzat amma yasifur. Salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.